Hey, welcome back. In today's video, we're sponsored by Food Saver. Thank you, Food Saver, for sponsoring the video. I'm gonna be making a lacto-fermented hot sauce. Usually it takes a little over a month or so. With this bad boy, it's gonna take a little under a week, thanks to sous vide. I'm gonna sous vide the peppers, I'm gonna blend it with the salt, that's pretty much it. For this process, let it do its thing. Thanks to this machine, it makes it so much faster. So go ahead and stick around to the end of the video. We're gonna be doing a giveaway together. Don't miss out. Let's jump into that B-roll. Okay, so first use the chili of your liking. I'm doing these Thai chilies really hot with some Fresnos mixed in for some sweetness. So I first got my chilies and then I de-stemmed all of them. Chilies, chiles, how do you say it? However you say it, chilies, chilies. Uh, so de-stem all that stuff. And then you just wanna chop it all up so you can fit it into the blender or Roboku or food processor, or whatever it is that you're gonna use to chop all this shit up. So I went ahead and put it in there. I totally forgot I need to weigh it out because we want to do 2% salt to weight. So check it out. This is what I did. I did about 10 ounces. So 10 ounces, 2% of that is 0.2 ounces of salt. So add that in, blend that all together, and that's going to be your lacto ferment right there. Quick tip for the bag, fold it outward like this so you don't contaminate the bag really helpful whenever you're doing sous vide like this or even Ziploc bags. Put all that stuff in there and then we're gonna go ahead and get it ready for sealing. Really awesome technique because this is going to allow us to speed up the lacto ferment process by taking out all of the air. So it's just gonna take about a week. So flatten it up just like this, get your food saver and then you're just gonna seal it up. Makes it really easy just literally put it in, push the button, and it seals it exactly the way it needs to be. So once all the air is removed, go ahead and label it. I always forget to label, but this time it's actually important because you want to know how long it's been going. And just leave it out at room temperature. It's going to inflate up just like a balloon, so be sure to check it every day just in case because you don't want peppers exploding all over your kitchen. So about a week here, but make sure to check it every day. All right, we have air, everybody. I was about to head to work, but I saw it was super inflated, so I went ahead and filmed this right before work. Didn't want this to explode. Cut this thing open and go ahead and blend it. But we're going to go ahead and make our own sauce. So I'm gonna do carrot, onion, some spices. All the stuff is listed down below. Some spice chive peppers. And then we're just gonna boil it all up cook it all the way through to soften it and we're going to blend everything together until it's very fine with some rice vinegar citric acid for that pop some salt to taste and then make sure it's just super smooth this stuff came out really nice if you want the recipe for this sauce just check the description it tasted kind of like frank's red hot very nice and there you have it lacto fermented hot sauce done in a week thanks to the food saver very awesome technique to use with sous vide. Slap a label on this baby. There you go. Some acid rooster sauce because this is the acid trip show. So once we got this, I mean, what can we do with it? You know, label it, give it to a friend for the holidays, put it in a dish. I thought I would just make a simple little sauce for wings. I did butter, equal parts butter, equal parts sauce, and then tossed it with some crispy fried wings turned out really nice it actually tasted like a buffalo sauce you can use this technique for other things like lacto fermenting berries or vegetables get creative with it let me know in the comments down below what you think of doing with this thanks for watching thank you so much for watching the video hope you enjoyed this little hot sauce video 
pretty cool way to make your own like Frank's Red Hot style sauce. It was really good with the wings. It tasted just like a buffalo sauce, by the way. Um, to win this guy, go ahead and follow the instructions down below. But just a heads up, it's probably gonna involve something like following Food Saver. Go ahead and do that. They're really cool people. I mean, using this is just so simple. Like all it is is like even has its own like bag roll in here that you could just go ahead and rip out cut to your liking, the size of your liking, and then just press seal, presto, that's it, done. It'll seal it up as much as it needs to be. You can go ahead and do like proteins, like chicken or beef or whatever, like a steak, seal it up, throw it in the freezer, and it'll last pretty much indefinitely and not get freezer burned. So, I mean, this is a great little machine to have in your kitchen. So, go ahead and follow those instructions down below if you'd like to win one of these. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video.